Hyundai is in the midst of a renaissance. Still sort of reeling from its success of the mid-2000s, now the company is shoehorning SUVs and crossovers into every nook and cranny of its lineup. This, the Palisade, is the newest and makes number six. With the venue coming later this year, that'll be seven. But the Palisade is Hyundai's big boy. It's a family-friendly SUV with room for eight and a big improvement over the outgoing Santa Fe XL. With a sharp design and a luxurious interior, frankly, it might be Hyundai's best attempt yet at a flagship vehicle. The Palisade looks unlike anything else in the class. This massive cascading grille and the dual headlight setup gives it a unique look to separate it from the segment. And they call these headlights crocodile eyes, and for good reason. Your eyes might be drawn to the upper LEDs, but the headlights are actually located below. And if you're looking at the car from a rear view mirror, all you'll see is this angle and up, giving it an imposing look, almost as if it's coming out of the water. While the front fascia is definitely the focal point, don't discount a lot of the design details out back. Yes, the Palisade gets the same trendy floating roof you see on a lot of vehicles these days, but instead of shoving it between sheet metal, you get a single piece of glass that extends all the way out to the rear window. And then there's the taillights. They're sort of Range Rover-esque, but otherwise pretty unique and give it a distinctive look in the segment. All in all, the Palisade is a unique looking vehicle front to back. The Palisade stands out as one of the nicer options in its class in terms of interior quality, but there are some materials that we could do without. So this massive amount of piano black plastic on the dash is kind of iffy, and so is this weird plastic on the center console and on the door. But there are a lot of things we do like about the cabin. The quilted material here on the door along with the seats are really nice, and the seats themselves are super comfortable and everything is laid out cleanly, including the big buttons here on the center console, which are easy to reach without taking your eyes off the road. In a segment constantly pushing the envelope on tech, the Palisade has plenty of it. You get this massive 12.3 inch digital instrument cluster up front, which is an option we suggest, and one of our favorite features, if you hit the turn signal left or right, a camera appears on the screen and helps monitor your blind spot. Behind the first row, things are pretty good too. On the top spec limited trim, the same quilted Nappa leather carries over to these ultra comfy captain's chairs, which also come with heating and cooling functionality. The entry level SE model gets a cloth bench or the option for non Nappa leather, but we definitely prefer the top trim seating option over all the rest. And the third row is not bad either. With the one touch folding second row, it's easy to access, and even taller passengers will find comfort with the available amount of space and large greenhouse. For the class, the Palisades headroom and legroom is just above average, making it a solid seating option for shorter trips. And unlike its cousin the Kia Telluride, the Palisade also offers a power folding third row. While the Palisade has a lot of the same characteristics that define a three row crossover, particularly its size, it's surprisingly good to drive. Unlike its cousin the Kia Telluride, it feels stiffer and more planted in the corners. What separates the Palisade from the rest of the class is the steering. It's heavier than you might expect, but that means it's more fun to toss around in turns like this. The braking is a little soft, but it's easy to modulate, especially for such a big SUV. And the 3.8 liter V6 produces 292 horsepower, which is more than enough for this. And if you really want to tow something, you can, up to 5,000 pounds in fact, which is about the average for this class. Believe it or not, the Hyundai Palisade can off-road. Well, sort of. This dirt road isn't exactly the Rubicon Trail but there are a few features that give the Palisade the ability to tackle the tough stuff. For example, you get things like a locking differential, a torque split that sends up to 50% of power to the rear, and even a hill descent control feature, which is typically only reserved for off-roaders like the Raptor or the 4Runner. There's even a dedicated snow mode, which prevents wheel slippage and gives the Palisade the ability to tackle snowy weather. We know there are a lot of three row crossovers to choose from, and if you're going to enter the segment with a new product, it definitely has to be interesting, and the Palisade is. In our time with it, we found it unique, charming, and interesting. And that combination might be just enough to win over the American families. 